so many are wondering on the timing of events and what will happen first or if they will even be around for the things to come upon this earth. I have a word from a sister, my sister Bonnie from Sydney, Australia. The message is entitled, and then I come for you. Daughter, take heart, for I know you are concerned about what is coming. This event of which I have spoken of is a cataclysmic event that will affect all of mankind. You, my bride, will be protected, but you will see many things you would rather not. This is why I keep telling you to keep your focus on me, your Lord and Savior. My bride will be used in a mighty way to bring in the last harvest before I bring you all home to me. So many of you are anxious and concerned and want to know when, when, when this event will come. Oh, my children, you have taken your eyes off of me, your Lord and Savior and your provider. I am to be your first love and your trust must be t entirely in me to provide for you and to protect you, no matter what happens. Yes, I have said I will give you warning, so fear not. This event has been planned since the creation of time. Nothing will prevent my will from being done on earth as it is in heaven. Remember that I told you there will be a short span of darkness that you will need to walk through before I, be before I come for my bride. And there will be a time when it may appear that I have forsaken you, but nothing could be further from the truth. No matter what happens and no matter how you feel, I have not forsaken you and never will forsake you. It will be at this time that you must strengthen your faith in my word, the Bible, and in my personal words spoken to you. Just because you may not be able to feel me for a short span, know that I am with you, regardless of your feelings, and that I will bring you through. There is so much coming, my daughter, as I have told you. Know that when things begin to happen, they will come in quick succession, and there will be hardly time to catch your breath in between these events. Know that my time has come for my wrath to be poured out upon this earth because of the vileness of her sins. But you, my precious bride, will be protected. Remember, too, I have told you, I have work for you to do. My Holy Spirit will infuse you, and you will go out and bring in the, last, the great last harvest, and then I come for you, my precious children, my beautiful bride, and then I come for you. Scriptures is Luke 21 and 28. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws nigh. Hebrews 13, 5. For he, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I gave this word because there are so many people who are speaking about that it's time to go in the rapture and that uh, they won't be around any time after this um, feast or that feast. And I just want you to know that there's still more to come and still more to be done. And when you're getting your hopes up on all these times when there, people are telling you that it's coming at this time and it's coming at that time and it's coming this time, instead of getting focused on people telling you when he will be coming, you need to put your faith and your focus in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. His will, not our will. His will be done, not ours. He will come in his own perfect time. And it will be, when he comes, it will be the perfect time where he can save most of his children. He wants, to, he wants to save as many as he can. He wants to save as many as want to be saved. Give your life to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And accept his free gift of re redemption and salvation. I pray the blood of Jesus over this message and any and all who listen to it. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name, God bless you all.